hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another miscellaneous type of video today we are taking a look at dlss swapper again because the dlss swapper is uh, now uh, the upscaler swapper like you can switch all kind of uh, upscaler along with it so like fsr xss dlss reconstruction xcler and everything so today we are going to be discuss about uh, the new upgrade of this app so let's just start this video now all right first thing first you need to download the latest version of this app which is 1.1.5 uh, uh, you can check the download link at the description below and after installing the app and uh, opening it for the first time you will be greeted uh, with this kind of UI now you get may get more games or less games uh, than me compared to like what games are installed on your system uh, so first if you click on any one of these games like if i suppose click on the atomic heart now you will see a new pop-up window will open up with all kind of stuff here so i'll go one by one now you can see it says here dlss 3.5 fsr 3.1 x xcss 1.3 so yeah now you can swap any of these upscaler with this along with that you can also swap the frame generation dll the vulcan version of the fsr and xss frame generation also which is not yet released on like other than uh, i think uh, intel uh, b580 gpu and xcll which is also uh, the intel's low latency like uh, nvidia's reflex or amd's anti-lag and everything so if you click on the dlss uh, you can now swap it with any of any of these version in the list like uh, 3.5 is the right uh, current version of this atomic heart now if i just click on 3.10 3.10 is like the dlss 4 uh, with preset k so if i just click on that and click on swap it will get automatically swapped now the game is using 3.10 but you have to download the mm, particular dll version first so in order to do that uh, you can just uh, head over to the library section and you get all kind of these tabs dlss dlss frame generation ready construction fsr 3.1 for directx 12 fsr 3.1 for vulcan xcss xcss frame generation and xcll but yeah these two options are not yet available to i think any any games i don't know i could be wrong but yeah anyway uh, one more thing i want to tell that uh, if your game is uh, having the fsr less than fsr 3.1 then you cannot use it to update to fsr 3.1.3 because only the games which have fsr 3.1 are able to update to fsr 3.1.2 and fsr 3.1.3 so yeah keep that in mind but xss is very good in this kind of uh, upgrading like the intel developers implemented it very correctly like you can upgrade or de downgrade to any of the xss version from here uh, so that's totally like uh, a new whole set of changes to this software which is very good according to me uh, now yeah i'll leave you guys with this software you can just try and tweak your own things and do your own stuff i got also marvel spider-man 2 which got the ready construction you can see here 310 is the now ready construction uh, if it's a 3.1.3 and uh, there are some also uh, what do, you, uh, what do you say uh, there are some experimental and etc like uh, you can see here the debug version v2 v3 there are many kind of dlls and everything so yeah go ahead try it on let me know in the comment section how is it how do you liking or not and yeah i'll leave you guys with that one so bye now